we're not doing a traditional front drive. We're gonna go in reverse. Jumping backwards is not normally done in a motion picture, television, commercial world. So we had to adapt from vehicles that have done four jumps similar, but then we adapt it to the weight distribution of driving in reverse, steering up the ramp, all those kind of things. We've modified the Chevrolet Sonic for the stunt aspect of this. We use math and physics and science, a lot of physics actually, mainly like for the ramp design. The ramp design is key critical to making the car launch like you want. So this is our ramp, uh, ramp system. It's comprised of two six foot ramps, total 12 foot wide. They'll butt together and clamp together. There'll be a transition piece going into them. Um, we have a slight parabolic shape to them so that we get a natural kick up and out, and we've made it so it's adjustable. There's feet all the way around. We could then start adjusting up, or have possibly even go down to get the right trajectory and the right distance. Back here you have the counterweight. We're trying to balance the car out. We want to get as close to 50-50, so we're going through the air. You're not nose diving or coming in porpoising, where you come in first and then drop. Tons of suspension modifications for the hard impact. Good balance, good suspension, and there you go. That was really good in science and physics in school. If I were to give any advice to students who want to get into this field, math, physics, engineering, drafting, those are the main tools out of the toolbox that we use, starting with the calculator.